Nintendo Labo Virtual Reality. Nintendo's first official dive into the world of VR, as long as you don't count the Mario Kart VR arcade machines from 2017, was released to the world on April 12, 2019. It brought virtual reality to the Nintendo Switch in the same way Google brought virtual reality to our smartphones, by selling us cardboard. Now, I didn't buy the set when it came out in 2019 as I didn't have a job or money and by the time that I did, Labo was a mere memory in Nintendo's mind as they stopped selling the whole cardboard series due to poor sales. But fear not, dear viewer, because I have managed to find a Nintendo Labo VR kit at a garage sale last year. And I've been a bit hesitant in opening this thing up, but as a VR enthusiast, I'm kind of intrigued to see what Nintendo cooked up for the world of VR especially since they did it on inferior hardware such as the Nintendo Switch. And who knows, maybe Nintendo was just testing out virtual reality in order to see if they wanted to add such a feature to the Switch 2. Or maybe that's just wishful thinking. Either way, I think it's time that I check this thing out, but I won't be doing this alone. Luckily, I know a guy who loves virtual reality as much as I do. Problem is though, he lives three hours away. Guess this calls for a road trip. So we are finally here. I'm here with my dad. We're at my dad's place and we are going to finally be checking out this Nintendo Labo kit that, you know, I bought at a garage sale. Here we go. Let's, let's get started. Uh, so we, we kind of opened up the box earlier sometime last night or so. And the reason for that is my dad noticed that, oh, there's like coffee splashes and whatnot. And I was like, oh, it was already there when we got it from the garage sale. But here it is, the Nintendo Labo VR kit. This is the starter kit. So it just has the regular glasses that you put the switch in as well as the blaster uh, kit. If you look on to the back of the box, you know, it kind of shows you everything that there is. I haven't really studied or looked at this box until like yesterday and a few days ago. And I noticed that down here in this gray box, if I can probably give the camera a closer look, I'll probably zoom it in and post as well. Apparently we can make our own VR experiences. That'll be cool to try out. Don't think I'll end up doing it in this video anyway, but maybe in a YouTube short or something. I don't know, but this is the box. It looks nice. I mean, it's a bit beat up, but we opened it last night just to see, oh, is everything in it? We, we hope so, because I did get it from a garage sale. I never opened it before, but upon further inspection, it looks like everything's there. We have the glasses. We have the game card, of course, the Toy-Con, Toy-Con number four. Because of course, I think this is the, the fourth, what Nintendo called the cardboard series as Toy-Con. This isn't even open. Uh, it still has the plastic wrap. So I believe that just means they haven't really touched it. Um, and then of course, after we take that out, we need that. We have the glasses, all of the rubber bands and stickers. And then here's all the cardboard pieces. So. Yeah, we're just gonna slowly get started on building this up. I know we're both kind of big VR fans. Uh, I mean, you don't have an Oculus Quest. I do, but every time I bring it over- I have to play it. <laughs> you, you gotta steal it and uh, play around with it until the battery dies, which, hey, I don't blame you. Um, but this is not really a replacement for the Oculus Quest. It's more of a Nintendo doing a thought experiment. And I don't think a lot of people bought this. I didn't give Nintendo the money for this. I gave some strangers doing a garage sale the money for this, but I'm excited to try this out nonetheless. Let's get started in building and maybe we can play some Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey, and maybe some of the built-in experiences that Nintendo has on this game card right here. All right. Sounds like fun. <laughs> Let's get started.
<laughs> the <laughs> HD Rumble is so cool. I wish they'd use it in more games. We finally have the VR set built. It's time to slide it into the console. Um, I'm gonna slide it in. Dad, you get the, the honor of trying it out. Here you go. We have to put the safety cap on first. <laughs> okay, Nintendo. <laughs> Mr. Nintendo over here only plays by the rules. So uh, right now- Tell me that click the- Ooh, wow, that was cool. Did it actually do something? <laughs> it actually did something. No way. Yes, it's, it's actually doing something. Oh, wow. Almost like space, but like not really. And if you look too far away, the the the, the main screen like pops back up in front of you. It's obviously very low resolution, especially on a Switch OLED because it's the same 720p screen, but blown up seven inches instead of like 6.2 that the original Switch is, but Oh, wow. Oh, I broke it. <laughs> it's a ball and it's bouncing around. It says, line up the cursor once more and tap again. You get to break this ball this time. It's a smaller ball. You know, come, come to think of it, I think they probably updated their software for the Labo specifically to work with the OLED. But I think when you do the VR mode for like Super Smash Brothers, uh, Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey. I don't. Whoa, think they, that was wild. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they updated it to work. It's the safety cap on the VR goggles and all the goggles curling in both hands. Yeah. And give it a tap to start. Okay. Oh, oh, oh! The controller's oh. just vibrated. Ooh, there's a little dude on here. Welcome to the world of VR. Before you make your next toy con. Try playing around here for a while. I wonder what the control is. There's the person using the Joy-Con. Try using control sticks and buttons. It didn't tell me to put the Joy-Cons on. Maybe, oh. I, maybe I missed maybe, that. But... Maybe, okay. So probably no, you can't the... because it says... Yeah, take, you probably have to take the safety cap off to put the Joy-Cons on. A few moments later... <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoa, what's so funny? <laughs> I have no idea what you're experiencing. Wait a minute. You can jump up on those things. That he's... Yeah, if you press the B button, he summons like a, a cylinder underneath him and he starts. You can keep jumping up the screen. Oh, oh, there he goes. And here he comes. It's like a balloon. You can you can make him float and jump across too. Look at him go! He's like doing like a little twirl every time you spawn a new cylinder. I wonder if I can get like footage of it by uh, using my phone's camera on one of the lenses. Maybe it's right. If you want to like move him around. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, that's gonna work well. Uh, kind of. I can. Yeah, and then just move them around. And obviously, like when we look up, this is really hard, we don't want to drop it, but you can see like the cylinders. Oh, there they go. Oh, right, where, where is he? Is he down on the bottom? Uh, what is going on? Look at the shadows. We don't, we lost him. He's gotta be down on the ground more. Maybe I should find him in. <laughs> oh, there he is. <laughs> He's way over there. <laughs> Back over here. This is going to be interesting to edit. I'll probably layer both videos on top of each other. All right. Can we, all right. Can we find him again? Where are you going? Oh, oh, oh. He's, he's up there in the corner. There he is. Press the Y button. Having cute little obstacles. Oh yeah, there he goes. Yeah, so that, that that's what we see. He, he's pretty cool. All right, I, I really want to get into that. some actual games though. But before we get to checking out some more Nintendo Switch games and virtual reality, I think it's about time we talk about today's sponsor. Me! 
That's right, this is a self-promotion to remind you all to like and subscribe to this very YouTube channel for more Gage Gaming goodness. I make gaming videos, shorts, and mostly stream. But my YouTube channel isn't the only place you can catch my many streams. You can also find me live at my Twitch channel at the very same time if you just go to twitch.tv forward slash Frankenstein underscore 18 and click that little follow button to get notifications when I go live every Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Those of you that join me over on the Twitch streams get a small little currency called Frankenstein coins that you get to use to redeem special actions that affect my stream, like forcing me to wear a hat, or better yet, ban an in-game action. Don't leave the menu. So if you don't want to miss out on some killer content, consider subscribing and following me over on my Twitch channel. I'll leave the links down in the description below. And now, back to the video. All right, we are back from the commercial break. We actually figured out uh, a couple small hacks when it comes to uh, cheesing the VR mode for the Switch OLED models. There's like a little little circle at the very top of the console. I'm not sure if the camera's actually picking this up. But that little circle is like a light sensor. And when the console is in the VR kit, the light sensor is covered and it fools it into thinking that it's inside the VR glasses or at least the console is. So we might be able to pick up better capture footage by filming the screen that way. But either way, we got my dad's switch and he loaded up his Breath of the Wild master mode profile mm -hmm. and he's going to do whatever it is he's currently doing <laughs> on Breath of the Wild but I don't in VR. Where I'm at. It's been a while. It's been right. a couple of weeks since I played so. So to set yeah, this up, we just gotta go pause, go over to system, and I think it's in options. Toycon VR goggles, turn it on. And then once it's on, oh! Okay, we, never mind. We don't have to fool this one, then. Yeah, we, we don't. <laughs> As you could, guys can already see, you turn it on, and it's already the VR glasses mode. So I guess we don't have to fool it. But uh, either way, I will I will set this up for you, and I'll hand you the console, and you can go ahead and play around with Breath of the Wild. Oh, wow. How does it look? I mean, it's it's grainy because of the you know VR is not the best in the world, but well, it's it's mostly the screen. Yeah. Uh, let's let's see if I can kill this guardian over here. Oh, <laughs> you're next to a guardian. Oh, uh, oh I, can, I can hear the guardian. Oh shit! No, you missed me. <laughs> Bye bye leg. Bye bye leg. Oh my gosh, he's actually winning. Bye bye leg. Um, oh, bye bye. Oh, missing. Bye bye leg. Oh, this is just, like so much easier to. No way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> he's shaking from the stress. <laughs> and he's dead. <laughs> nice. And he got to see all that. Oh, that's, explosion that is everything so in so wild because you get the you get the three-dimensional view yeah. i always have trouble on the guardians because i don't know which like, which side i'm on and i can actually see every last leg oh like the depth perception yeah. actually helps that is so cool i didn't know you, you were that. right next to a guardian that, <laughs> that, that that honestly just works out okay so so basically it gives you like a a top 3D view of where the link is. And yeah, like you said, it is very green, but I think it somewhat works out. We can, you can barely make out like how many hearts you have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna teleport over to um, the central tower in um, central Hyrule. That way I can go by the guardian myself. <laughs> Hey, before you do it, save it so I can so I can keep my guardian material in case okay. you die. <laughs> okay, I'll go ahead and save on the tower. I wish they would have updated Tears of the Kingdom to do this. I mean, it's you know it's based off the same game and same code, I assume. So it should yeah. just be an easy drop in. Oh wow! Okay, there's a guardian down there already. All right, here we go. Oh, um, 
Uh, He's gonna kill you. Bad. Nope, I fell. Oh, I'm so used to having two limbs thing that I tried using it and I'm like, oh no, this is Breath of the Wild. It's a good thing you have the Master Sword. <laughs> Oh, this is this is too easy. They took out all but two legs. Hang on, hang on, I got this. Oh yeah, I parried it. Oh, he shot me again. Uh, my shield broke. All right, I got him before he did another shot on me. That's actually pretty darn cool. Well, that was that was interesting. We both fought a guardian. In Breath of the Wild. This would be really cool mm -hmm. if it strapped to your head and your your, your head you're like actually <laughs> like sword and shield. I would play it all day long. What if way. they did that for the Switch too? If they did that for the Switch, that would be awesome. Actually, uh, we can make our own uh, Toy Con experience. Supposedly, I wonder if I make my own strap to like hold on to this somehow and like use the motion controls in the controller and like actually like create a first person VR experience. I'm sure somebody out there has done that. Maybe I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. I might get too lazy and like give up after 10 minutes, but I hope Nintendo revisits the VR. I think this is pretty cool. You want to try Super Mario Odyssey now? Sure. All right. <laughs> Up to sea. <laughs> Just like Mario said, we are now playing some uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Luckily, going into the VR mode is very easy from the main menu. It's just an option. So we click playing in VR. Um, and as far as I'm aware, the, the way Super Mario Odyssey works is it's not like Breath of the Wild where you get to play the complete adventure but in VR. Instead it's like little platforming mini games. Almost like the little little guy that we had running around earlier once we yeah. fully set it up. Instead it's with Mario. So it's it's more fun that way, supposedly. But yeah, let's let's get started here. And Dad, I'm gonna let you do the honors once again. Three kingdoms to choose from. And a, and a question mark one. <laughs> uh, what kingdoms are they? With Cap King, Cap Kingdom. Okay. Seaside Kingdom, and Lunchin Kingdom. Well, I'm getting pretty hungry, so we should, <laughs> we should probably avoid the Lunchin Kingdom. Actually, <laughs> that's what we're doing. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Find band members in Lunchin Kingdom. Oh, you like actually have to turn around, look around. This is not the best, best way to do it. You should probably stand up while playing in VR. Not really sure what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> it says find, find band members, but have you all, found any? All I see is a rabbit with a hat and the little guy that's holding a piano. Is a guy holding or, it? Or not the piano, it's the little... Keyboard? Uh, the little pot guys, or robot, I don't know, has a piano bubble above its head. Above its head. Can you talk to him? Uh, no. Hmm. Uh, I, can, I can hear him see what you're doing. Exactly. Let, me, let me take a crack at it. He's over here. Oh, yeah. Excuse me, sir. Where's the guy with the microphone? Uh, I'm doing a little milk thing. Oh, is he able to talk to you? Uh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, Mario. How's it going? Oh, I found the microphone. Oh. All right, and now she's singing. All right, I got one musician. It's because you gotta collect coins, man. Oh, okay, yeah. So throughout this entire kingdom, or this small little level, there's little, um, whatchamacallit. Not a music note, but the, 
little squiggly thing at the at the beginning of the musical page yeah. sheet. You got to collect that, and then you got to collect all the notes, and then that musician uh, piece appears. Huh. All right, we're gonna take it out of the, the thing. See if we can get some better capture footage of it. Here, can you take the controllers, and I'm a I'm a try and do video capture best we can. Oh, we're gonna go to the same one, or uh, you can go to the Seaside Kingdom. So there's. There's, there's more, yeah. So the camera doesn't work. We have to move the console, right? There, there goes Mario. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to see where the hell he's supposed to go, what he's supposed to collect. But yeah, every every NPC that plays a music instrument, it shows you like what music instrument they are. But the camera's in a fixed position. And you can see where Mario goes. Hey, no, it is not time to take a break. I guess maybe it actually is time to take a break. But yeah, how was the how was the Mario Odyssey experience? That was kinda cool. Kind of a yeah. Kind of lame once I, once compared I, yeah, to yeah, Breath of the Wild. Wild yeah, the Breath of the Wild's Some. top tier. That's okay. We have one more game to experience the VR in, and that is Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. I don't know how this game works specifically, but we're gonna we're gonna attempt to see what it is. Uh, all right. So for Smash, I think we got to go to Games and More, and there's the VR topic. All right, so when using Toy-Con VR goggles, play only while seated, be mindful of your surroundings. Okay, please insert into the goggles. So this one we can only play while seated. Supposedly. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Those other two, I, I wouldn't really be able to play them seated because you have to literally look all around. I I would get like one of those awful office chairs that have like the swivel so you can like spin 360 but so I, I can still sit and maybe have like an armrest that way I can like sit like this in VR you can't use items final smashes and some rule settings well that's boring I wanted to see some final smashes in VR but for now so we can do basic boring stuff just like a regular smash two and a half minutes Oh, but, oh, we can select a lot more stages than what I thought we could. I thought we were going to be limited to, like, um, five stages or so. Because mm -hmm. uh, that's that's what they said when they announced this uh, VR section. But actually, no, we can go through not all the stages, but a good half of them. And including a lot of the DLC stages as well. Like Hollow Bastion from Kingdom Hearts. Um, but I think I'm gonna go to Spirit Train because I love Spirit Tracks. <laughs> <laughs> For now, I guess we'll just watch everyone fight just to see how it is. We'll have Young Link, Ganondorf, uh, Zelda, and then we'll have Breath of the Wild. It is really hard to read the fighter roster in VR. It's too blurry. <laughs> And then we'll go ahead and uh, watch a bit of the fight. Two and a half minutes. Oh wow, this is this is a good angle. Oh, you can like move the camera around with the control stick and see like a good portion of the stage like this. Oh, this is this is pretty cool. You can also see how the state how they even made the stage somewhat as well. The spirit train looks so good in VR. Here, you, you take a crack at it. You move the camera with the uh, left control stick. Oh, that's so cool. Obviously, if you look too far to the left or the right, it'll tell you, hey, uh, what are yeah, you doing? Yeah, it's to go black. <laughs> Good. Look at the actual fight that's happening, not not the stage's inner workings. So is this all you do is just watch her? So you can actually play. Oh. Unfortunately, I don't think you can play multiplayer, though I think it would be pretty cool if you could play multiplayer if you had multiple switches and multiple... VR goggles. I don't think that's possible. I think it's just one headset playing the game. Who's the big guy? Uh, Ganon. Oh. 
I can't. I can't. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> it's got, so grainy. Got, I can't really see. You got Ganondorf, Zelda, Young Link, and then regular Link. All fighting on the Spirit Tracks train. Wow, that's actually really cool. Honestly, looking at Link in VR. Yeah, yeah that, that main screen, that, that's really nice. Yeah. But again, like selecting the stages and whatnot, everything is so small. Not really that it's small. The pixel density isn't small enough Right. To really display the quality of the image. You can't really read yeah. their names <laughs> yeah, at all. It, it's, it's really hard selecting characters. But once you're in and actually fighting, I think it looks pretty cool. I think it's better for spectating matches yeah. than, rather than actually playing it. Because then you can just like, kind of just admire the stage while you know, all the CPUs are like beating the hell out of each other. <laughs> but either way, I think, I think that, was, that was pretty cool. Pretty fun. So this would be a, a little toy that I showed to all of my friends. Hey, you want to play Smash? Sure. All right. Hands him this amalgamation, <laughs> abomination of a VR headset. <laughs> play some Smash for him. <laughs> all right. Do you want to make the other sets? If we do, it's going to be a very long video. <laughs> We don't have much more time than yeah, I would like to, yeah. you know, maybe break out the Oculus later. Yeah. So <laughs> play, <true>. play real <laughs> VR. <laughs> well, that's all the time we have to really check out all of the, the VR starter kit. I know there's a bunch of other VR modes in the Nintendo Labo, like game card itself, as well as the VR blaster that we didn't check out. Maybe we'll do that in a future video. Maybe we won't, <laughs> because the Oculus is 10 times better. But for a VR experience with Nintendo, if I were to rate it out of 10, I think the creativity is there. The fact that it's made out of cardboard, but you're the one building it, makes the experience a bit better, a bit cooler. Actually playing some of the games, very ass. <laughs> Smash is not it. Again, I think if I were to rate it out of 10, I'd probably give it a seven and a half. What would you, what would you rate the VR starter kit? I was gonna have to say a seven because it's a cool concept, but usability is kind of hard to use. It's hard to use. Who wants to sit there and do this? <laughs> not, not me. <laughs> At least not for hours on end. Maybe That's like, why they don't make them no it's more. <laughs> 10, 10, 15 minutes. I think Labo as a concept was pretty cool. Again, this is the only Labo set that I've ever made and I actually ever bought. I kind of want to get the other sets now, but probably getting them off eBay without them being open, it's probably going to cost me a fortune. So it'll probably never happen, but I. I'd like to experience some of the other Labo nonsense that Nintendo made. I think this was a pretty cool video to make and a pretty cool experience all around mm -hmm. building it. All right, well, if you guys ended up staying through the entire video, I don't know how long it is. It's probably over 30 minutes. Hopefully not, fingers crossed. Uh, but if you made it all the way to the end, uh, please do me and my dad a favor. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, as a friendly reminder, we do stream on uh, Thursdays and Saturdays. Depending on when this video is posted, the Thursday time slot is probably going to be different, but on Saturdays, we do stream at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, both on Twitch and YouTube. Links will be down in the description below. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next video whenever that might be. And I'll see you the next time he has me in the next video. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good day. Have a, yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>